Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about more famous filming locations of movies or TV programs in Edinburgh. That was a big title. I might have to change that for the actual <laughs> title of the film. How are you all? Hope you're all okay and happy and well out there. Um, yes, welcome to a, a lovely, windy, dreek, rainy, miserable June day here in Scotland. Um, you can see the rain is dreek and, 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 and coming doon and the wind is, is bustering in my face and the clouds are awhere and it's, yeah, yeah, it's just a typical summer day here in Edinburgh. So, uh, as we've told you before, bring a jacket. Uh, but we've done this before. Oh, I hope you can hear me. It is really windy. I apologise. I'll try to shelter. Let me go over. I'm going to go over to the trees, see if I can get a bit of shelter. Um, yeah, so we've done this before. We have shown you some filming locations and movie locations in Edinburgh uh, because Edinburgh, it's the same with a lot of cities, gets used a fair bit for either film or TV. What Edinburgh does get used a lot for, you'll find, is period dramas, either films or TV programmes because of a lot of the old town and some of the buildings, they suit that very, very nicely. Although obviously a lot of Outlander's been filmed here, but there's many, many other things that have been filmed here over the years. So, I'm just gonna go through a few locations that you might recognize, that you might not. Some of them are blatantly obvious, some of them, maybe not so. And we're gonna start right here in Holyrood Park. This is Holyrood Park, there's Arthur's Seat, Salisbury Crags, there's the Queen's House, Holyrood Palace, and this is just a big bit, this is Holyrood Park, right here. This gets used quite a lot for uh, running events, truthfully. A couple of weeks ago, when myself and a couple of patrons did the, um, uh, the 5k run during the Edinburgh Marathon Festival, we actually, believe it or not, we ran round that. <laughs> There's a road that goes up and all the way around it. I've put it in a video before, I'll leave a link. Um, but we did that to raise money for the Stroke Foundation. Um, but this gets used for a lot of running events. And the reason I'm saying that is to tie in like a nice segue because this right here was used in the classic Chariots of Fire. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Did that without breathing. <laughs> really should have taken a breath. So yeah, so Chariots of Fire was filmed right here. Actually, Chariots was fire Chariots of Fire, forgive me, I can't see the words. Had a lot of filming locations in Edinburgh. And let me give you the list. So not only was Chariots of Fire filmed in this beautiful big park. And you have to say it is beautiful, just in case you haven't seen it before. Can I point it out to you? Um, right there, that's St Anthony's Chapel up there. If you've never seen those ruins, well worth a visit. Um, but yeah, Chariots of Fire, 1981. A film featuring uh, about the 1924 British Olympic team had its fair share of scenes shot in Edinburgh, my friends. And those scenes included not only Holyrood Park, where we are here, Inverleith Park, Assembly Hall, Holyrood Park, Broughton MacDonald Church and Broughton Place. All of that in Edinburgh for the classic Chariots of Fire. Some of you might be too old for that film, but it's a good film. You should go watch it. And that is location number one. So next time you're here, again, I know a lot of you like these random facts to tell your family and friends. You can go, did you know Chariots of Fire? Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, although that famous scene was on a beach. This isn't a beach, this is a field. But still, you know what I mean? There's a tree. I'm gonna go hide under a tree because I'm getting wet, my camera's getting wet. Oh, it's a miserable day. Now, the reason I'm staying in this area is Arthur's Seat now and Salisbury Crags. I could, it's very easy for when I'm doing one of these videos to go, this was train spotting, or this was, or mostly train spotting too, because most of train spotting was actually filmed in Glasgow. Very few of that film, the original film, was filmed in Edinburgh. 
even though it was based in Edinburgh. Trace 1 and 2. But in Trace 1 and 2, there's a scene where Ewan McGregor and Ewan Brenner go running. They're running. He takes them running to try to beat his addiction. And, and they run up Salisbury Crags and they do a nice bit there and they run all over there. Now, let's be honest, someone who had never ran before and your mate who is running marathons and things says, let's go for a run and he manages to keep up with him. That's quite a feat. Considering the character was supposed to be a drug addict, that is quite a feat since he managed that and didn't, you know, die. But that's not actually the reason why I'm looking at Arthur's Seat. Another film that was filmed on this beautiful, beautiful natural monument right here is One Day, starring Anne Hathaway and Jim Sturgis. Now, this is a film that takes place over 18 years after these two characters meeting, I think graduating from university, Edinburgh University, and then there's scenes up there on Arthur's seat. Right there, so there's another film for you to go check out. They actually, they didn't just film in our seat, they also filmed at Warrison Close, at Parliament Square, on Carlton Hill, and right here, Victoria Street, and actually up there, Victoria Terrace as well. All of that in that one Anne Hathaway film. So next time you're in this sort of area, you can turn around and say, did you know that once Anne Hathaway was on this street? I don't know if whoever you're with will care, but they'll be like, how do you know that? I'm like, ah, I just know things. So there we go, Victoria Street. But while we're in this area, if we go down to the grass market right here, it's been in a couple of films. Now, grass market, which is where we are right now. Home of many, many uh, execution and people selling stuff for the market. But Again, also been in, in a fair few movies. Actually, Victoria Street has been in a fair few as well. Is that something on the lens? No, we're well, okay, I can't tell. There's so much rain that I can't tell if it's, if it's dots of rain or if it's... I, I, anyway, so yes, this has been in lots of films. The Prime of Miss Jean Brodie. There's an old one for you. It's the one for you all to look up if, you're, if you've never seen it. Um, filth. Remember Filth with James McAvoy? It was another Irvin Welsh film um, from the train spotting universe. And more recently, Eurovision, the Will Ferrell film on, uh, on Netflix. If you haven't seen it, watch it. It's very funny, but it's got a lot of great locations in Edinburgh, including this brilliant site right here, the Grass Market. And you can see why things we'd want to film here. It's it's a beautiful looking spot. It's a unique looking spot. It's innately Edinburgh. So I think, uh, yeah, okay, you'd want to get the castle. The castle's just behind that building right there, just in case you want to look. Look at that. That's the stand terrace for the Edinburgh military tattoo. Still coming along very, very nicely up there. Look at that, there's the steps. Would you want to be set up there, hanging over the edge of Castle Rock? Yeah, fancy it? No? Alright, fair enough. Um, but yeah, you can see why you'd want to film in this sort of area. But I'm actually going to go back to Victoria Street, where we, we did the one day. Because it, that is, I think because it's so unique and beautiful, again, it's been used in a lot of things. So we've said the Anne Hathaway film, but it was also featured in a couple of other films, like Driving Lessons. If you've never seen Driving Lessons with Julie Walters and Rupert Grint, they actually come up and drive around a few places in Edinburgh, if I remember uh, correctly, and also a 1986 film called Restless Natives, which was a massive film at the time, but I'll bet you very few people remember now. But, a little bit more up to date, it featured in Cloud Atlas. Again, look at this. Why would you not want this street in a film? And the terrace up there as well. You can see why these locations are used. The Scott Monument right in the heart of Edinburgh by the new town just after it finished being the old town. So this was featured in Cloud Atlas as well, if I remember correctly, and I, I, I don't really know the film very well. But they were up there, they were up there, or at least they were green screened up there. They used um, Cloud Atlas, and I think it looks out that way over the castle, and again, I mean, look at it. Why would you not want to use that in a film? It's a gothic rocket, for goodness sake. 
And there it is in all its glory, the Scott Monument and Cloud Atlas, up there, somewhere. You can see, this, for those of you that still, you know, wondering what to wear when you come, you can see the rain stop now, it's actually quite warm. Um, we're all having to wear big jackets because of the rain, but at the same time we're all sweating because it's actually quite, you know, humid. And there you have it. That was what, four? If you count the grass market at Victoria Street as two, which you should really, because if they have different names, they're different places. Um, four movie locations in Edinburgh. Uh, again, you kind of have to count Holyrood Park and Arthur's Seat as two locations. That's one, two, three, four, five, five movie locations <laughs> that are featured in various films filmed here in Edinburgh, or at least part of. So there you go. These are, these are things that I know that Again, I've said this in a couple of videos, that some of you just like to randomly spring on your friends and family when you're here in Edinburgh. You say, oh, Cloud Atlas was filmed up there. Do you know that? Yeah, and you know it's it's nicknamed the Gothic Rocket. Do you know that? Do you know that? Uh, so there you go. I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, as always, leave a like, leave a comment. If you know any more filming locations in Edinburgh, please let me know and we'll go do another one and we'll go see them as well. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. We are like just over 40 people away from hitting 13,000 subscribers which is ridiculous it's redonkulous but thank you all very much please come join clan Brunford. hope you've enjoyed that yep. till next time bye humans <laughs>